All right, YouTube. This will be either part of part two or this will be the part three video. So after we get all the rubber mulch down, uh, what's underneath the two by four flooring, we got the mulch down and uh, thanks air conditioner for turning on. That was great. Thought I found a quiet moment to speak. Anyhow, I got the mulch down in there and got the two by fours run across and screwed down the way I want them. The front, what's going to be the front um, you know, wall and door, opening door to the to the generator enclosure here. I haven't put that in yet. I haven't quite decided how I want that to uh, open just yet. But this is the generator house, Power Horse 9000 ES. I had this for a few years. Back when one of the hurricanes came down here off the coast of Charleston. And that's been great a few times we've needed it. But anyhow, so you can just kind of get an idea of uh, size wise. So the, the generator enclosure is about, it's five feet wide on the outside and then four feet, four feet deep. And um, so I'll walk around a little bit on the back side here. You can kind of see the back side of the generator here. That's the, the natural gas regulator there. A little PVC cap I put on the, the inlet for right now. But I haven't positioned the generator exactly where I want it. I just put it in there basically for size reference now. <clears throat> a couple things I still need to do is run the uh, electrical conduit and electrical wiring from uh, the main, main panel inside the house. Out here, I'm going to put a disconnect switch out here as well. I won't have auto uh, switch to begin with, uh, maybe down the road, uh, but right now I'm just going to do manual. Uh, I am thinking about some kind of light indication here and at the main, at the main panel to kind of indicate where the power is coming from uh, so that, you know, there'll be when power comes out the main panel, there'll be some kind of a light or indication that says, oh, you know, street electricity is available or it's running off. The panel is getting power from the generator. But And then there'll be a lockout in the panel, too, um, to the generator so that you can't run. You won't be able to run both. You can either have the main panel on or the, or the generator. And then as far as the gas goes, uh, my main is on the other side, just around on the outside here. But I actually have a gas line inside this 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 room here there's a little room inside here and so i'm actually thinking about coming out here and elbowing out and i'm not going to hard pipe over here i spent about 250 dollars on a really nice natural gas uh, flex line uh two years ago and so i'm thinking i'm going to just use that i'm going to have it coiled up inside here it'll be hard connected here and then when i need to run it i'll just i'll have a a little cap that i could just poke out and run it and just go to a quick disconnect on the outside of the house that wall has also have a lock on it but anyways that's where i'm at right now so the next steps would be to um finish up the the front here with some kind of a, a door that i haven't quite decided on yet we are gonna stain the floor just in case any kind of moisture does get in there if i have to lift the top up and it's raining or whatever we don't have to worry about the wood on the floor you know soaking water up and then the roof I haven't quite decided on that, but that's also going to be, it's going to be gated so that it, it can lift up a little bit to give me, you know, so I can crawl in there and don't bang my head on stuff. So. All right. So that is, we'll call that part three and we'll see where we go from here. Thanks for watching.